Welcome to another Next Fest. This is probably going to be the last one, and uh, it includes multiplayer. So Jeff and I went through some games that we found with the multiplayer tag, as you will see. And uh, oh yeah, I'm recording this in the future, so hello. Uh, soon you will be handed off to past Vinny and Jeff. But I think there's some interesting ones and some, you know, not so great ones, but also a couple non-multiplayer ones as well. So a lot of shooters this time around, but some really interesting ones. So check them out. Next Fest has been very, very good. Lots of game. Okay. Up next, game. <laughs> this game is called Frozen Flame. I don't care, whatever. Alright, that's it the intro. What's that? It doesn't look awful. It kind of looks no. like Valheim a little bit. No, it looks okay. Uh, this is. I'm just here with Jeff for anyone watching. If this ever gets uploaded, maybe this will be added to some Next Fest Part 3 video. But, um, yeah, it's funny because it says this is the second most popular multiplayer game of the Next Fest games. And there's, like, a total of 11 people playing it. So, I, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you do. Are you, like, stuck on a floating island? Yeah. Yeah. I just jumped off and I became a bird, though. Okay, death, rebirth. I didn't become a bird, I just spawned again. Hmm. <laughs> I tried to fight some dude, he killed me in one hit. Oh yeah, you have to hit space to become a bird, I guess. Okay. Jump or whatever. Oh, I found an island. I wonder if this is someone's like thing that they made. It is. Yeah. I'm killing like a little gimp. It's like a goblin in a gimp suit. Reminds me of like a Marvel version of Valheim. It, I mean, it's a little, sense. it's a little Fortnitey. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what I meant. Fortnite has left its mark on gaming for the next 20 years. Like, every game is just going to be f looking like Fortnite now. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, wasn't there a game that was like Counter-Strike Fortnite? Mm, probably. Some, some first-person shooter that got popular for a little while that was basically Counter-Strike. One of the other games I linked you, it's a day out, is... Remember that big Bigfoot game we played? Yeah. It's that, but Fortnite. It's just exactly the same, but with Fortnite graphics. I bet only one person's playing that game. <laughs> but yeah, there's a, a campaign mode, there's a survival mode. And, uh... This is the survival mode. I don't know what's happening, but... I'm on an a floating island with a gimp. It kind of looks like what Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be. I was just thinking this is like that Zelda game. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm a bird right now, but I don't know if you can actually Like, fly up. Yeah, I'm um, just going lower and lower. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, there's like spots where there's wind? Yeah, it's not doing anything. So, wait, it's like a survival game, but only on a couple floating islands. I think I see you. Wait, no, I don't. I just see a portal. The fuck is this game? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should play that yeah, Backrooms game one. instead. I don't know about this one. With I mean, no explanation at all, it's just kind of like... Yeah, it just, you're on a rock. Just fall off. 
just dumps you into a game. And even when you're a bird, your torch burns. And you lose torch. Uh, found like a hog. Mm. Oh yeah, I see a pig too. Can I build this thing? Or is this area protected? Restricted by okay. another sentinel of Kronos. Killed so fucking quick. I mean, maybe if... There was a lot of people playing this, it would make more sense, but I don't know what the hell's happening. It doesn't give you any information, like you said. It almost <sighs> makes me sad that there's all these games. There's so many demos, and it's like only a couple of these games are ever going to go anywhere. Yeah, and a lot of work was put into this. I mean, maybe someone had a real passion for making video games and only for two fucking clowns to shit on it. <laughs> I'm not shitting on it. I don't know. I mean, it, it but could be it cool. Just, like, does, like, it's just Fortnite, though. Like, it looks like it got made in, like, a Fortnite level of it. Forge, right. Yeah, I don't I don't know, Jeff. Do we, do we just move on? Because... <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to do, dude. <clears throat> That's what I mean, though. Like, is there gonna be like another video game crash because of stuff like this eventually? You know what I mean? Like, like who, like what? It was who made this? What about the time that went into it? And, like, and the, the people money? that got paid—is it just a money pit of a video game? Yeah, this like, looks what, extensive. And what, like, what happens? Like, all right, well, that we're just gonna have to eat the zero for that one. I guess we'll file for bankruptcy and further <laughs> inflate the economy. <laughs> Is that how that works? I don't even know. I, I never yeah, took I don't, know. I, I don't know. I never took economics. <laughs> MP, it, MP. It's it, the reason we have inflation and five dollar a gallon gas prices is because of this game. Yep. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and that this game and every backrooms game that has been released in the past two two years i guess how long has backrooms been a thing for jeff do you know mm, i think the video games only really started this year but gotcha maybe two years but i'll, I'll blame the backrooms games speaking of i'm gonna quit out of frozen flame now all right everybody that was frozen flame i don't know what the fuck we just played but all right <laughs> Not to be confused with The Back Rooms 1998 or The Back Rooms or Jurassic World. This is The Back Rooms World and it's got a multiplayer demo. So we're going to check it out. There's a single player demo test as well, but I think it will be a lot more fun to try multiplayer. So, yeah. Okay, so we're in um, this lobby, Dilf Pickle. And uh, I think that's uh, one of the Rugrats. I'm not sure. Yeah, Dilf Pickle. I think <laughs> it's it's one of the Rugrats. That's that's fine. That's fine. What are you trying to say that you find you think Stu is a Dilf or? I think um, Dee Dee thinks he's he's a he's a Dilf. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like remember remember when I was playing Dreams, and there was that. That cool thing where someone was like, oh yeah, D D step on it. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. I remember that. That that was one of the ancient memes too. Yep. What does this say? I don't know. It's the room, then you think of the opposite, then yellow walls match. God. Look at when he when you jump, do you put your hand in front of your face? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so stupid. Wait, let me see you jump. Yeah, I guess you actually do that. Hey. All right. I mean, my expectations were primed at the word backrooms. 
So I'm not expecting a whole lot here, but... It's funny, I have motion blur off. And I s Oh. Never mind. It says it's, so it's off. It says it's off, but you actually have to turn it off. Alright. I don't know what we do. Our character There's a dead guy over here. There's a couple dead guys. But yeah, it is very shaky. Like, your character like, can't keep his head still. I hate that. Uh, do, do we just enter the back rooms? So, mm -hmm. here's my, my story look. <laughs> The filters are on. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so what has happened is someone has discovered the back rooms in an abandoned Sears, and they called the EPA, and they sent the team out. <laughs> I don't know why the EPA of all places, but... And now we're the team investigating this physical abnormality It's just connected to the Kmart and the Caldors and all those. Oh, Caldor. Now that one. That brings back Caldor. memories. Yeah, I bought Lego at Caldor. My dad bought me Solstice at Caldor, I remember. What is Solstice? You ever played Solstice? No. That's for the Nintendo. It was like a little wizard guy. It was awful. It had a cool song, though. I got no. I got Legos and I and um, I don't remember what else. But yeah, I liked Caldor. So one of those giant like big box stores. Um, but yeah, wherever this is, definitely in the same lot as a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it's just made out of the same stuff that all the Super Nintendos were made out of. It's all yellow now. From all the <laughs> cigarette smoke. I wonder, like. My Super Nintendo turned this exact shade of yellow, but I don't recall there being cigarette smoke on it. Why did they why did they turn yellow like that? Was it just there was, exposure like, to the I'm atmosphere? I'm sure there's like 80 videos about why. Yeah, something something like that. You are right, guys. Checking out. <laughs> this is why the Super Nintendo turned yellow. Oxidization. Uh did your screen just get blurry? No. Oh, yeah, a little bit. I hear some, like, stomping around, too. It's John Backroom. Damn, someone's running. Oh, my God. This is not really what... <laughs> Whoa! You just got pulled! <laughs> Dude, like, a dr incomplete DreamWorks animation just killed you. Oh, I'm dead, too. Wait, what was it? It was like a wireframe monster. I didn't get a good look at it. It looked like a pipe cleaner. Yeah, 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 that's kind of what he was. Remember Clay Fighters? I do. There kinda was a blockbuster only exclusive Clay Fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like 63 that, and a third or something. That looked like uh, the Taffy guy, but with no Taffy blurred on. Right. Like wireframe. Well. Gee whiz. The only thing that's scaring me is how fucking violently my head shakes when I run. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff is I don't understand. Yeah. Why do they do that? Like, it's not. When you walk in real life, you do not shake your head like that. I don't. I guess like, with the equipment, maybe a little bit? I don't know. Yes, but. Like, it's the first thing I turn off in a game if I can, is any bullshit like that. It's the first thing I turn off in real life. As soon as I start, like, head shaking, I just, like, I'm like a pigeon. I level out. I don't want to see in a video game what real life... Listen, if I'm playing a video game, I don't want to recreate real life. That's why I'm playing a video game. <laughs> <laughs> so, I kind of want to be able to see what I'm doing. Like, this doesn't make the game more immersive or better for me. This just makes it more... Annoying. Yeah, a lot of walking sims really guilty of stuff like that where it's like 
doesn't make the like absence of gameplay any better when to like add stuff like that. Like just relax. Yeah, relax especially with, with the the glut of games that are releasing, like we were just talking about in Frozen Flame. Like just the the dozens of backroom games currently available. It's like who's gonna be playing this one when it makes people like nauseous to just walk around. Then again, I guess they could play Backrooms 1998 and have really cheap jump scares and, like, babies and, you know, kids that like fried chicken or whatever. Is this a bad game? See, that's the thing. Like, it's a cool idea. Like, there's so much... It's like a writing prompt, right? Like, you could go anywhere with the idea of the Backrooms. Like, you could add so much cool shit to it. Why is it... Why is this not cool? I Not to be an asshole, but no, like... No, no, I, I agree, and I, I try to be as constructive as possible, and I don't want to shit on developers' hard work, but this is just hallways. Like, just, there could be anything, there could be like a giant eyeball, I don't know, there could be something. I think finding a mix between Backrooms 1998 and this would be good, but if you're going to do a multiplayer Backrooms game, there's got to be something. I know this is a work in progress, but this is not selling me. <laughs> Or just, like, take the piss out of it, like, make all of a sudden all the walls just become cheese or something. Like, that would be kind of funny. They already cl look pretty close to that. Yeah, but. that's what I mean. Like, it's just all, I don't know. We start slowly, like, walking into, like, a giant wedge of cheese, and then we walk out of a hole and we're in a grocery store. That would be hilarious. Sure. Like, we're or, tiny people or in even a grocery like a store. Sears. That would be fucking dope. That would be so funny. Like, D.E. Rats from Counter-Strike. Yeah. Like, what happened? We became tiny. We, like, walked through another dimension. I want to end up in an abandoned Macy's. Whoa! <laughs> it's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Is that a kid just like making noises into his microphone and then like <laughs> blowing it out? It sounded a little familiar. I don't know. But I honestly think it could be a sound we heard somewhere else before. Jeff, I'm standing still, and my camera is shaking so violently right now. <laughs> like, there's got to be a middle ground between this and the other game. Like, I get that the back rooms thing is, like, empty corridors, and you're just stuck in an infinitely looping back room. Like, I, whatever. I get it. That's what's appealing about it. It's very... It's like an existential dread kind of thing. But then... When you start over overloading it with, like, stuff, it becomes less backrooms and more just your typical jump scare game. But then, if you try to, you know, make a multiplayer backrooms game and there's nothing to do or see, like, like just a pipe cleaner monster that... Man, I don't know. Oh, well. That was a nice try. <laughs> do you want to play that other one? Maybe we can try another one. All right. What's the other one? Hey, do yourself a favor and uh, and click escape and look at the objectives. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I can't tell if that's like actually real. I guess it is. I I, I guess it is too. But I All think. All right. Yeah. Even more so than, like, years ago, like, SCPs and, like, creepypastas are, like, you know, like a dumping ground for <laughs> a lot of these ideas and stuff, yeah, I you guess know? So. Like, yeah. I mean, it's neat. I just, some, maybe the back rooms didn't need a game. M maybe, maybe it just didn't. Maybe it works best as a little cameo appearance or an Easter egg in other games. That's my. That's what I would say. But all right, that's Backrooms World. This one's called A Day Out, and it seems like it's tagged under Phasmophobia as a similar game. But I think you shoot Bigfoot and demons. So yeah, we'll give it a shot. Okay, 
so there's only two servers for this and I just joined Jeff's and uh, that's the thing with all these games I know that next fest doesn't guarantee that people are gonna download and play them but like I the multiplayer games we've seen so far I think there's been like a total of 35 people playing them so it just kind of feels like well like we were saying before, how much effort was put into this stuff that no one is playing it. So. Yeah, it's weird. It's like Saturday night, too. You'd think there'd be a lot of people online playing. Yeah, that's, that's what I would think. My character looks like Justin Bieber. And when I rotate the camera to try to see his face, he looks away from me. Yeah, you look like fucking like Fred Durst. In Fortnite. Fort <laughs> Durst. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so we're unarmed. Oh, there's quads over here. Generic inventory is disabled. Visit Camp Sunnyside. Oh, this is rough. The camera angles are so weird. I keep if you like move your mouse down, you will look into the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> where where did you go? I just fucking died. I don't know. I crashed. <laughs> Sorry. It's some, like Austin Power shit going on over here. It's like between <laughs> these trees. If you crash, right. your guy just ragdolls. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm at um, Camp Onawana. There's a main hall, there's a map. There's a reminder to the counselors waiting Whoa. for hosts. Yeah, I just started saying that. The fuck? Uh. Oh, I'm not cutting any of this. Game just break? The fuck is happening? Yeah, good demo. Netcode. Did it just start over? I don't know if it started over, but I'm now under the map. You're in this room with me on my screen. The fuck? Oh yeah, <laughs> there's some cutscene happening. It says FOB. <laughs> yeah. I'm a new human. I am a different person. What? flow of time is convoluted here. Right. It's probably all of the extraterrestrial and Bigfoot things happening here. <laughs> Details and locations can be seen here in the full game. So again, I guess like that Bigfoot Hunter game you mentioned that we played a while back. But also like a Phasmophobia kind of thing. Found footage about the current selected case will appear here. How discouraging must it be to be so excited to release this to the world? And then, like, two people are playing it. And it's like, fuck, do we even continue development? <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty shitty. Yeah, it's, it can't feel great. I mean, you have... Maybe, maybe the developer of this game is super excited, and there's two servers running right now, and that's it. Three people. Ugh. <sighs> I guess you never know, because, like, even Fortnite, five years ago, whatever, six years ago, I don't know what the fuck long ago it was, was, yeah, like, I, I like remember. this. It was, like, not, it was, it was, like, a zombie defense game at first, and it was not fun, really. 
Yeah, only when they made like a drastic pivot did it turn into... I hit E into... to get into this thing and it started loading again. But if it's, like, RV is like the level? I don't know how the fuck this is. I think so. So why the fuck? Make any sense. So the idea is we drive the RV to the level and that's like what we're at our base or whatever. Okay, I see. Yeah, again, that's where Not the phasmophobia influence comes in, I think. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I played this the other day for a minute, and I drove over to the camp, and then, like, a monster came out, and then nothing else happened, so... I don't know if that's all there is to it, or what? <laughs> uh, do you... Hmm. Do we have weapons? Weren't we just here, Jeff? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we just came back here. Generic inventory is disabled. Use the tablet. So oh, I do have a gun. Map. All right. Oh. Map. Okay, back, escape, inventory. Yeah, you have to, like, assign your guns to a quick slot. Uh... I see. <laughs> How's your health? Did you I take took like 60 damage. Yeah. Oh, you took that much? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like friendly fire disabled. Fuck, sorry, dude. Uh, there's I'll med packs this, uh, on the table. Med pack. Yeah, I'll just take some medicine. Yeah, use the medicine in your face. Oh my god, the hunting rifle. It just zoomed in on my, my character's <laughs> hips. <laughs> and, like, so, I mean, some of the, yeah. some of the camera stuff is insane. I don't know why that's happening like that. Okay, if you've got an object behind you, instead of dithering out the object, like say if you aim like by a tree, it just makes the camera angle weird. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Can you do look up and down very quickly? <laughs> it's okay. That's it's honestly not as funny as me laughing that hard, but I I needed that. All right. This, he's built like a GI Joe from the nineties. Jeff, do me a favor. Get in this middle. Get in this middle one and look at the camera. Yeah, I tried to do that before. It just goes underneath. And then if you start driving, it gets all fucked up. Now it's like stuck for me, <laughs> the camera. It's like cinematic. So, uh, there's supposed to be a monster. Yes? Yeah. Once we go to the camp, he shows up, unless the game fucking breaks again. Which... Oh, okay, because I thought what would ha what was happening was... That we had to go to the camp... To get our van, so that we can go to the location. But what we ended up getting Thanks. ourselves into is a recursion. There's some groundhogs they should. Kinda. Searching the cabins. A way to unlock the cabins. So we gotta search for clues, it says. I had to order a new mouse. Because Corsair's mouse... The M65... I I'm gonna end up saying this on various streams. Because I'd, I'd like to just point out that Corsair is knowingly selling a, a broken product. So, for anyone out there, if you're looking for a new mouse, do not get the M65. It breaks after three to four months. And Corsair could not help me. Oops, sorry, I was just examining this empty can. So I ordered a Logitech that's a little cheaper, but apparently very good. 
What do you use, Jeff, as a mouse? Uh, <clears throat> glorious master or glorious PC master race. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking name. Glorious PC gaming race is the name of the brand. Oh, they're really good though. I like them. Okay. They make a couple. They make keyboards and mice. I have a wireless one and a wired one of the same mouse because I liked it so much. That's cool. Yeah, we'll see if the Logitech ends up working out for me. But man, I just ate sixty dollars, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was making no progress. I had the mouse arm made once, got a replacement, it broke again. So I call up Corsair, and I'm talking to the tech support dude. Very, very nice person. Really wanted to help. Could do nothing for me. So I eventually... He was like, well, I could just send you another one, we could RMA it. I said, no, 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 you don't understand, this mouse is broken, and there are forums that show... like... dozens of people, yeah. if not more, have had the same issue, and this is no coincidence. And he's like, yeah, I can't do anything for you. I said, okay, I hate to do this, but I have a little bit of a following on the internet. <laughs> is it someone I can talk to about this? Because I would very much not want to talk about why your product sucks. And then I made a tweet and I said, hey, and I was very nice. I was very, like, just logical about the whole thing. And uh, then I get an email saying, it turns out my supervisor can send you a replacement that is the same price. <laughs> and I said, cool, which one so I can look up and see if it's broken or not? And I never got a response. So I guess I'll have to wait until next week to see if there's a response. So uh, just uh, for anyone watching, just a little FYI. Corsair's mice are broken, and their support, there's not a whole lot they can do. So. There's a door back here. Oh, it's fucking dark as fuck. How do we use the, um... Whatchamacallit? Flashlight, Jeff. Do you remember that button? L. Okay. So you found a door? Yeah, it's in the back of this cabin. Because it, it said we have to look for clues, so maybe this will... Yeah, sometimes some shit just doesn't work with, like, certain stuff, too. Like, I I tried, like, a Razer mouse years ago, and no matter what, it just didn't work with my computer. Like, gotta get another fucking thing, I guess. Yes, that happened with my sound card. I get it. This appears to be a hardware issue. Yeah, it seemed, like there's like yeah. something, yeah, exactly. But but yeah, I mean, I've had that too, where like capture cards just work on different motherboards and not this one. DVD. Look at this vending machine. About the Fresh. It just like it looks like uh, some soda that like there was like a Mario comic back in the day. I don't know if you remember it. King Koopa had like his own soda. <laughs> No. He sold in it. It looks exactly like that. Now, was this before or after Koopa went to Coney Island? <laughs> I had this book of Mario comics when I was a kid. Like, it must have been, like, early 90s. I don't know what comics they were. They were, like, Western-made. I don't know. It was strange. Like, um... Princess Toad still becomes like um possessed by the Ninja Star dudes in one comic. It's really weird. She becomes oh, like a punk. Oh. Okay. I didn't have that. I had the choose your own adventure books, but I didn't have that. I had two of those. That's cool though. I, I like the cartoon. I didn't have any of the comics. I like the books. But uh someone requested that I do a choose your own adventure Mario book live on stream. And like read read it with Mario and Luigi's voices. Oh, and you know what? I do remember those. I might actually do that at some point. If you're <laughs> yeah, watching this, if you're watching this, chat members and viewers, just pretend I never said this. And if I don't hear about it, maybe I'll do it. I know it's a backwards way of thinking, but 
usually when people pester me to do a specific thing, it makes me less inclined to do so. But uh, it seems like it's a fun idea, and I, I think I might do it. When were those from? The 90s or are they like the 80s? I think Mario World was was the ones I had, so it's got to be after 91. Okay. Yeah, there was like a like a bunch of those for a while, I remember. Yeah. All the choose your own adventure stuff. Also, um, there are blue hollow barrels. Captain, <laughs> I'm searching for Bigfoot. I've encountered something far more terrifying. <laughs> Where is this one? I have permanent spine damage, Captain. Speaking of Star, of Star Trek, have you seen Strange New Worlds? No, I haven't. I don't even really know what it is, honestly. I watched the first four episodes. It's the best Trek that CBS has put out. And it's not amazing, but there's some... I, I hear it gets better. But it is definitely Star Trek. It, it at least tries to be Star Trek. It's uh, Captain Pike. And it, so it's a couple years oh, before Kirk. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've seen a few of that. You commercials. It's... It's it's not bad. It's actually... like It feels like Star Trek because they're they're doing... You know, they have a problem, and they solve it by the end of the episode. And there's a lot of, like, hope and optimism. And nobody's crying every two minutes to express emotions. So, it's not bad. It, it could get better, even. If season... You know how usually season one of a Star Trek show is not great? Yeah. It's, the, the, the laying foundation or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels like this one could get better. I just don't trust CBS to do that. But I, if you're looking for some Star Trek that isn't the Orville, I would recommend it just to see what it's all about because you might you might enjoy it even more than I do. I wasn't feeling the Orville this season. <clears throat> yeah, it started. And I was like, eh. it's been okay. I'm willing to give it a chance. It needs more time, I think, but we'll see. We'll see how how it goes. Jeff, this this kind of does this suck? <laughs> I mean, nothing's happening. That's for sure. A way to unlock the cabins? Searching the cabins. It's like, it's like broken English. It's not even. What does that mean? Clues at the camp? I, I've been looking for clues this whole time, and I I got nothing. There's like notes. Yeah, I've read, read one of them. I checked those out. Maybe we gotta hunt him down. Camera's fucking awful too. Hey Jeff, can you check out my character? There you go. I see like the map indicator of your guy just going up and down. How nice. Yeah, can you this game feels. can you do the same? Can you just like use your weapon to uh, right click and like so look down here and then right click to uh, aim and just yeah. Oh nice nice head oh man. Yeah that's 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 good that's right <laughs> Justin Bieber you do that. You know what this reminds me of that new. Uh a new movie that's coming out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the wacky waving inflatable arms guy? Yeah. Yeah, I guess the mom should just show up. Oh my god. <laughs> How is it we're three for three? So bad, dude. <laughs> Jeff, I oh, hear, fuck. I hear, yes, the monster is here. This is good. It, I don't care. Let let me die with honor. <laughs> what? It... Where is he? I don't know, but I, I wish to. Oh. 
<laughs> oh god! What's up, man? You just ragdolled. <laughs> My ass was just sticky in the air. <laughs> I need to heal. How does, how does one heal? <laughs> so God. stupid. Your guy just stood back up. I just healed. Yeah, I'm, I'm alive. I think you can get me up. Look at my guy. Fucking dead. Where? I'm over by the light. I, I don't backwards, see it. Backwards. Oh. There you go. Oh, okay. It just looks like Team America World Police. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> like, it's like ragdolling in the way they walk. They look like dolls. So that was it? Like, we we just... Like, wait for the Wendigo to show up? And we die? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get my gun out, but I don't know how to. Press I had it out two, before, but... Two or three or four or something. There it is, there it is. What a shame. Like, there's there's so much potential in so many of these games, the multiplayer ones. And, like, I see work was put into them. Like, there's definitely stuff, there's something here that, you know, maybe could be something eventually, but I don't think this is a good first impression. Jeff, I found a UFO. Where? Where are you? I just shot it. I don't even see you anymore. So I'm up on the ridge. So like moving? You see me? Yeah. Yeah, come over here. Do you have a hunting rifle? You could zoom in on it. Oh, wow. It's just sitting up there? What the fuck? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get closer to it. It's the most exciting thing that has happened in this game so far. Uh-oh. I hear the one to go. It's light out, though. I don't think he can I attack I see him. the one to go. Oh, yeah, no. He's he's attacking, all right. You're just standing there. I don't think he likes the water. Oh, oh. He's, he, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I like to get pulped. <laughs> he just ragged off so badly. I'm hoping the UFO can save me from this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the Wendigo disengaged. The stamina meter refills so fucking slow. Yeah, it does. It's weird. I guess it's not weird considering everything else about this game. Right. Uh, well, I don't think there's a whole lot that can be done with the UFO. It does have unique like properties when you shoot it it's got like a little like pink slash purple a uh, particle effect yeah they're alien baiting that's what it all yeah got a little glimpse of an alien in your product that said i can no longer shoot it i think i killed the ufo because it doesn't can, have like, any uh I can move my dead body a little bit. You can like, <laughs> you can oh, like you can? wriggle around, like a little tiny bit. I'm just in the water, like moving my hips around. Okay, part of my body. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out because the Wendigo is. Yo, you can <laughs> fire when you're ragdolled, <laughs> and it looks really good. Oh, I see him. Oh, 
Oh man, come on you coward, kill me. Oh, I was really hoping he could ragdoll me. Um, Jeff, I'm gonna get you back up. Can you just kill me? When? Yeah. Where are you? Are you in the water? <clears throat> Down by that bridge that we ran over. I see you. Yeah, I'm right over here. Yeah, look at my dead body for a second. I can't get you back up. I think you're like well and truly dead. <laughs> Maybe the water like breaks it somehow. <laughs> All right, I, I can't get you back up. There, there's no points. All right. Goodbye. Hey, it has, has good water physics. Yes, it does. And there is a UFO. I think it doesn't we, have a lot else going for it. I think we got alien baited. I think you're right. Yeah. There's also like bootleg Stranger Things music. Yeah, it does kind of like a little rip off of Stranger Things going on with it. Well, there's potential. I mean, again, I don't want to talk shit about demos without offering some constructive criticism. I just think it needs it needs a lot of polish. It needs it needs uh, it to feel less aimless. And um, I don't know if it's going to get that kind of attention and just, and you know care put into it. But as like a casual player of it, just stumbling around a campsite for a while waiting for a Wendigo to come and shoot us or smack us is not as fun as one would imagine. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I see that there is some effort put into this and I hope it delivers. This is the other game that Dev made. TP Royale, is that TP as in toilet paper? <laughs> oh. The outbreak has started. Panic ensues. The world is collapsing and you need supplies. But first you need the toilet paper and so does everyone else. You have to fight for what's left or you will never wipe again. Oh dear God. Oh dear God. <laughs> it has six good reviews. Bunch of levels. Scary ass zombie mode. And it's addictive. <laughs> I, it's just the dev with a mustache, like a fake mustache. <laughs> it cons haven't found any yet. We'll update if I do. Oh, man. Here's another review of this toilet paper game. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. <laughs> All right. Next. So this game is called Stallcraft, like Stalker plus Minecraft. And I just did a tutorial and we're hopefully Jeff and I are going to be able to meet up in game. But I wanted to start it here because it just throws you into a game with no real main menu, like barely. And I just thought everyone would enjoy this cool character face. It looks like Roblox with a realistic human face on it. So you're in for a real treat, Jeff, when you get to this. But I'm going to pause and hopefully we'll be back with some gameplay. Okay, so um, yeah, this is the gameplay of Stallcraft. As you can see here, this Roblox ass looking motherfucker is holding a pistol to my face. But he's an ally, so it's cool. I have to find a stash. Jeff is still doing the tutorial. But it kind of delivers. It, it is an open world shooter. I mean... Those stalkers are just there. Those are real people. And this is the stalker base. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, the tutorial actually looks kind of legit. And then you get into the open world part of it, and it looks like an early version of Seven Days to Die. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but also I get what they're going for. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of neat in a way. It's charming. I wonder if guns jam. <laughs> they look like Lego guys. Yep. This is 
All out New Vegas. There's one type. It's a... hmm. I found someone just in the middle of nowhere. Just standing still. I don't know what he's doing here. Vine of Stalker died was ripped to shreds by a whirly gig. Fuck. I'm watching some trailer now. Oh, so you completed the tutorial? Oh yeah, there we go. Skip it. So join the stalkers, okay? Yeah, join the stalkers, and then we'll we'll squat up. <laughs> yeah, the the, fa the face is so good. You're, it reminds me of Wienerville. Remember Wienerville? Nope. Oh, you don't remember Wienerville? <laughs> no, Jeff. Mark some uh what the fuck was his name? Linden. Are you wait who, who Yeah, I'm in <laughs> Are you you're in the world? Yeah. Are you? I don't see you. Are you in the right in the starting I'm, I'm area? At, I'm with Lyndon. I'm in there too. There's a dude in here with me. What's his name? Eki? I have Hazy with me. The fuck? wonder if there's like different worlds. Oh, man. Maybe. Session battles. Or maybe there's like different areas. There's clans and stuff. Maybe. Um, oh yeah. But no, I don't. I don't see you. Um, friends. There's a friends list. Add to friends. It's just Vigibum. Yeah. Friend request has been sent. So yeah, accept that, and then I'll try to hop into uh, wait, you. Wait, how do you get to the the friends thing? Press P. Oh, okay. Man, this, there's nothing incoming. Is it lowercase or? No. Nah. Well, capital V I D Y A D U M. It wouldn't let me do lowercase. Okay, try now. Okay, now I got it. I got it now, yeah. This is pretty expansive. Jeez. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm surprised. It, it, it makes me laugh, but also there's a lot to it. I'm um, accepting it. It's not even... not doing anything. I invited you to my squad. Not doing anything. Your squad is on another server. Oh. I'll, I'll just go to your server. Are there a lot of people on your server? I don't think so. You should come to mine then, because mine has a lot of people. How the fuck do I go? I don't know. I can't stop going to yours. Also, your character is gone now. Your request. You will be transferred to in eight seconds, so I guess I'm going to your server. It doesn't matter. I can't cancel it. <laughs> oh, I see your name up there now. Okay. Okay. It really is just Minecraft. Now there's there's a couple people here. I see some some person. Um oh, yeah, there you are. Hello. Do you have <laughs> pistol? The face looks so fucking weird. It's really weird. Uh do you have do you have pistol? Yeah, no ammo though. Or I can't shoot it in here, I guess. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's other people on the server, at least. The other mine had, like, I saw at least ten p different people. 
But uh, did you get the quest to go get this stash? No. Oh, yeah, 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 I did. All right. <clears throat> What's that noise? Do you hear that noise? A landmine or something? Uh, there's anomalies, too. We got to be careful. Like I was saying, like, there could be something floating around that just, like, kills you if you step on it. That's one of the neat things about Stalker. Like, there's weird different anomalies. Sometimes there's, like, a gravity anomaly that just, like, crush your character. Oh, yeah, here's the whirly gig thing. Oh, that's probably what that was. Notification icon. Oh, you gotta throw a bolt at it. Yeah, you gotta figure out where it is. Yeah, no. Uh... I don't get yeah, it. I don't step on that part, I guess. Oh. You might want to back away. Come uh oh, back here. it's Come got me. Here. It's got me and it's... Okay. What? I spawned in a sewer? What the fuck? Yeah, me too earlier. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna find way out of here. Yeah, I couldn't get out of that. Ryan. Oh, it's just... Back out. Yeah, this is pretty ambitious. It, it kind of is. It's it's kind of blowing my mind a little bit, even if it is funny. But I don't really know. So many people like who like Stalker like these kind of games, and they like want to play like, oh, what the fuck? The nuke just go off? Yeah, it looks like it. The hell? Oh, Jesus. I don't see on my map anymore. Look at everyone in the server. <laughs> they don't, no one knows what's happening. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking awesome. Who done did this, says a chat member. Who done this? Get inside. It's like eight dead people in the fucking bunker. That's sick. This is God's plan. <laughs> what is... <laughs> I'm like stuck. I can't move. Connection lost speed hack. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it says you was banned for 60 seconds. I see you guys stuck in the ground. I see him. You was banned for 60 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you was banned. Oh my god. Your ban will be removed. In All right. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep waiting. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. There's other people getting stuck too. They're like, I'm stuck under the stairs. This doesn't happen in normal stalker usually, but. Oh yeah, the whole server just like crashed at me. Fuck. I can't even like log into a different server. Oh no, now I'm in. I'm in. Oh, it's it's still it's still happening. Are you you're still in the server? I got kicked out. I'm gonna join again now. Okay. I'm down into the, in the bunker with Mr. Frodo. Yeah, it says connecting still. So. It was too much. Connection lost, channel inactive. I mean, it's active. People are down here. Oh, I'm back. I can see you. Are you down in the bunker? Yeah. Oh, I see you. Is someone in here named Biggest Dickus? Yeah, there's a lot of good names. Biggest Drickus. I'm always worried with weird names like that. I'm saying a slur in some other language. And someone like just yeah, like so, like someone just trolled me into saying their name, you know? Oh yeah, Mr. Frito. 
I just, I have no faith in randos in any shooter server. <sighs> Why are our faces like this? I'll tell you what. <laughs> it, it's the radiation. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting bigger heads. Someone just said, I how am I supposed to live, love, and laugh in this type of condition? This is where all the people are, who are playing games are, apparently, because no one else is on any other game. Yeah, that's true. Every Literally like, every other game had, like, two people at most. <laughs> or a like couple other people. people. Here. Yeah. I hear people, like, screaming out there. We'd all be like, stabbing and shooting each other if the game would allow it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're just sitting in here. What? Hey, stalkers! Oh, there's voice chat. I'm not gonna make it. Give me a first aid kit. I hear someone talking. Do you hear that? Yeah, they're 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 doing the thing. That's I can't just tell the, if they're real or not. Oh, I think it's just the character. Yeah. There's a button. I thought it was up. like some dude who was talking. I was like. Yeah, there's there's a button that allows you to do that. I don't know what the button is, but. It sounded so goofy. I thought it was a real person. Come on, anyone there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna head back to where we died. Yeah, I'm behind you. I see all these people trying to run. I mean, it's kind of a neat idea to have a like a fucking catastrophic event. I guess Fallout did it with Fallout 76. Yeah, I love that. But just having everyone having to bunker up in like a hole. And then Stuff like, like that ten and people dynamic, go out. Dynamic weather in survival games I fucking love. Yeah, that's that's good that's the good stuff. I really, really don't understand this mechanic. I think we gotta go around the back or something. Yeah, there's like a safe way to go in. I get it now. We go into another zone or something? The fuck? Looks like it. Did you spawn in? Yeah, I don't see you there. It says connection lost. Oh wait, that's just on the radio radar. Does you're still in my party? Yeah, same. Here's somebody. Examine the stash. There's nothing of interest here. Oh, God. another one. It says survive in a mission. Are you are you experiencing that, Jeff, or no? I died. Yeah. From the emission. <clears throat> uh, I died from some electricity, I guess. Oh, you got to throw a bolt at the electricity and then run through it after you dissipate uh, it with the bolt. That's how. The only thing about this Minecraft thing is I don't think you can actually like, build. Like, you can't actually... Or dig. Well, like, what's the point of that? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Why have a Minecraft style if you're not going to have... <laughs> right. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I have to go back in here. Apparently. Yeah, so that I think that might be just an instance. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, it's happening again, isn't it? No, it's only in your end. Oh, it's just like happening at the... And I'm out of there. Okay, now you gotta find a safe way back, which is... You gotta throw bolts to, 
you know. It says artifact. Take the artifact. Did you grab an artifact, Jeff? Mm, I don't think so. I got a backpack. Yeah, it's still saying to go back down there. It says take the artifact. Yeah, I gotta go back in. The fuck? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's by the lightning. The electricity. Okay, I'm gonna head back. Did you you got the artifact, Jeff? I died at the last second. Oh my bad. Out. Okay. So yeah, if if oh. you grab that by the lightning, then you get the next part of the quest. I'll be right there. I mean, at least we found something. Like that is attempting to to have gameplay. <laughs> I don't I don't want to be another mean. another game. Some two other games makes one game. Right. Oh, the little like crystal thing? Mm -hmm. I see. Read the briefs. Warlords HQ, their storage, research. Merchant, etc., etc. Get the artifact identified by the scientist. So it just teaches you, it's trying to teach you about the base and, and the idea of the like game mechanics. Get the artifact. Go on. Research. What the fuck is this guy? Sell the artifact. Um, you'll, you'll see it's a yellow icon. That icon. <laughs> Some words just fucking came out like a jumble. It's like word gumbo. Where is this fucking stairs though? Oh, there they are. Okay, so I just sold this thing. Weak snork's hand. Get a gun from the weapons merchant. Assault rifles. Warren AKS 74U. How much is this stuff? It's a little confusing. Get your gun fixed at the mechanic. Oh, I was I'll given a gun already. Alright. But it's broken. I haven't, like, fired any bullets since the tutorial. So, hopefully... That yeah, there is be... more action then. Hopefully that's next. There's a quest where we can, you and I can, like, go shoot something, like a fucking diseased, weird thing. Okay, so...
gun is repaired. And, uh, and you can eventually, I guess, get something added onto it. Try to attach the flash suppressor. Oh yeah, it's actually, again, kind of weirdly ambitious. Now my next qu I, I'm sorry everyone watching this, if this isn't the most action-packed thing, but I actually think... I think that this has a lot of potential, even if it does a look, a, uh, look a little bit butt. Can you punch wood, says a chat member. <laughs> His faces are so weird. Take Linden's gift. And this is just a demo. It's like a fairly extensive demo. on the television. Nothing good. How do you... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for my... Uh... Oh, it's down here. I see. Okay. Personal storage. Oh. Talk with Warlord. What a name. But yeah, it's it's trying to get you situated and familiarized with the base. I mean, for those that are wondering, the tutorial is very action-packed. You get several guns. You get to shoot. There's burning. So... It kind of oh. gives you the whole, the whole rundown of the game's mechanics pretty... Pretty well, I would say. Track down Calgan and Art. Alright, so Jeff, whenever you're done with all the two, the stuff, and you get the track down Calgan and Art thing, let me know, and then we can go wander around. Yeah, I accidentally took all the stuff out of my personal inventory, put it in my normal inventory. My guy's like walking really slow. I'm trying to figure out how to put it back. It's <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> okay, I just chose a direction. I'm just walking. I just want to see if there's anything. Any okay. enemies or just random little things to find. Oh, oh, oh my god. Attacked. I'm instantly dead. <laughs> what got me? So, something shot at me, but I don't know if it was a player or if it was an NPC. I have no idea. It says serious wound, and I could press G to give up and die. I can see you. Uh, yeah. NATO patrolman. Like a NATO? That's what it says, NATO patrolman. I don't know if that was an NPC or not, though. I have no idea. I see your arrow, but I don't see your character. It's a, I'm, in the bunker. It's okay, I'm dead now.
can carry many, many bullets with you. Like hundreds of bullets. What does this daffy fuck have? You look... You see a bored-looking stalker. Well, with a face like that, I mean... My name is Tankman. I'm, uh... <laughs> the Reds, the Goblins, the Soldiers. Same shit, different name. Quest it's Messenger. Received. Did you get that quest yet, Jeff? To find yeah. Dalkin? Meet with the messenger? I just got one that says meet with the messenger now. Oh. Purple one over here? I just talked to that guy you were just talking to. I said to go over here. Oh. Check it out real quick. Oh yeah, there's like a bunker over here. There's a guy in it. Well, there's um at the end of that you get a weapon. At the uh did you get the weapon? Oh, and I guess I didn't do that one. Repair it. Yeah, if you do the Linden quest line, you get a weapon and you can uh, repair it, and uh, that gives you the main quest line. Let me get that one done then. So I'll I'll do this one. I see this dude in the bunker. Are you the messenger? Yes. What do you want? What do you want, Stalker? A well-traveled map. So I guess it's just giving us several locations to explore. Also, have you seen how big the map is? Yeah, it's huge. Whoa. I think there's more than one, too. Jesus, this game is fucking huge. I thought something was happening because the game got all gray. I think it was just out of stamina. That, uh, well, maybe that and also radiation. If you swim, oh, yeah. if you go in um, water. Oh, is that what happens? Radiated. I just heard a guy screaming. Yeah, so the quest is called An Old Friend, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. But it's bringing me back to the bunker. But yeah, you gotta. Um, there's a couple of things there. it wants you to do, and then you get a weapon, and it's it's a little oh, complicated, but it it's worth it. The artifact. I just saw a rat go into the irradiated water and die. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> this is better than Skyrim. Yeah. Got a lot going on in the world. Dank Puffy just got killed by Mama Rose. Oh, I see where it wants me. That dude in the, just said, I'm kind of surprised this is all just a demo on Steam. Yeah, me too. Whoa. I just found some yeah, stuff. Body and... okay. Found like some armor and some bullets and like some barrels at a random location. I'm wondering how often they repopulate. Anti-radiation stuff. Yeah, everything else I found was empty so far.
steel plates. I'm an armor plate that can stop a bullet. Not impressive protection, but better than nothing. Hmm. No idea how to equip these. Drops upon death. That's that's really interesting. Okay. Did you do this quest where you have to like question these people? What's the name of it? Uh <laughs> under investigation. No. No, I'm 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 on the messenger quest to explore the map, and I have the um, an old friend. Also, there is voice chat. Is there? Yep, it says voice chat in the top left. Connected four. Press O to activate your microphone. Oh, is it for like your group or whatever? The yeah, I think so. I don't. There might be a zone voice chat to oh Jesus Christ I just took damage ah uh, yes cat food oh I don't even want to know what the chat is saying in the bottom left. I'm barely reading it. I'm barely aware of it. I don't care. Yeah, eat that cat food. Fuck yeah. Oh, you're way the fuck out there. Uh, kinda. I mean, oh, wait, I'm no, waiting. I see you, I see you. I'm at a little camp. You might find some stuff. I don't know how long it takes to repopulate, but... Found some bullets and some armor and stuff. Did you get the old friend quest where it tells you to look for um, Calgan and Art? Yeah, I did that one. You did it? Now I'm on suspect, yeah. Oh, I was waiting. For, okay. Oh, I thought you said you did it. I was on it. I did right. that one just real quick. Okay, I'll just, it's right here anyway. I thought you were doing the other one. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So I just died. To what? The to the, the, I didn't realize he was going to be an enemy. He just starts shooting. <laughs> he just starts shooting. I see you. Okay, I'm gonna do, do this this time. Oh, I can't even go in there now. I guess you're supposed to follow the story and actually, like, learn that he's an enemy. But... I guess I was just uh, too impatient. Oh wow, there's a huge body of water over here. So did you you here. did the report to Warlord? Yeah, I just did that. And that's where I am right now. Okay. All I just this water over here. Took damage for some reason. Oh yeah. Yeah. I heard that. Huge. Huge map. Invulnerability against players. Uh, oh, watch out! Okay. What the fuck? I have a cool do, you have a monster. do you have a shotgun? Yeah, you got it when you do this close. Oh. Dogs. 
flesh hideout. Press F to interact. Do you find a hideout? Yeah, there's on the map, there's like a green thing. And I, I clicked it and it was, there was like teeth and fucking claws and shit, stuff to sell. Huh. There's a truck over here. I wonder if it actually drives. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Alright, let me return to Warlord. I'm right behind you. Yeah, it's got a cool atmosphere too. And spooky. Yeah. Again, um it does look a little bit like crap, but I I am surprised at how much you can get into it and how like decent this is. The guns actually kind of feel cool, too. They do. The gunplay is not bad at all. Actually, I would say it's good. It's like, pretty good. That and, um... Just the, the fucking freedom of, okay, okay, do the tutorial and then immediately you're, like, plopped into the world and there's people. There's, like, real people just there. And I'm surprised at how seamless it was. At first I wasn't so sure, but now it's like, oh, that's actually pretty good. Also, Jeff, do you see this dog den? It's like a... No. Oh, the red thing? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. Up there? Yeah, it's a dog den. It's not on my thing anymore, but it was... Yeah. It's like a... Go, go world event that happens or something. Yeah. Reputation points. You said this dude gives you a shotgun? Or the guy you talk to after that, you get it from okay. that. Like part of that quest. It's amazing how many games Stalker inspired. Like, the idea of a bunch of um, Russians in a post, like, ir irradiated Chernobyl. <laughs> like, there's so many games about this now. Yeah. It just works. It does. It's because only now are we kind of getting to, like, that level of game where it's like... If you play the original Stalker now, it's still fucking pretty fun it holds up but it like looks like yeah kind of but like and there's other problems with it but the gameplay itself was so good for the time I'm like i was pissed i never played it when it like came out back in the day i only did a little it's bit really it's like the way that the like you would you know most people would play fallout and be like what this is sick but it's like oh yeah there's other games that do it in a different way that might even be better yeah, a little bit more detailed. If you, a little if you deeper. try it. And I like Fallout a lot, but... Yeah, me too. That's why I'm hoping Stalker 2 is as good as it could be. And I have no problem with them taking the like amount of time oh, they yeah. need to make that game a thing. And then there's stuff like Metro that is really fun. And it's kind of like basically idea of Stalker, but more on rails, like literally on rails. But, um... It gets kind of old after a while. I don't know. You're, you're uh, crackly again, by the way. Oh, am I? You have, yeah. I mean, it's sporadic. Also, I think I played Metro. What was the game with Artyom? Yeah. That was There's it? a few of them. Okay. They're fun. They're good shooters, but it's like, after a while, it's just like, just shoot forever. Do you have Apprehend Him? Um, the quest... Catch up with Cox Coxcomb. Jeff. Probably restarting. Huh. 
Oh yeah, I did get a shotgun. No ammo for it. Also, Jeff, you're totally gone. I don't know if you know your Yeah, silent. sorry. I think it should be back now. Oh, okay. I had to restart my thing real quick. Where'd you get shotgun shells? Uh, check your personal stash. There weren't any in there. Take a look. Also, what what's your current quest again? Do you have in hot pursuit? I have. I have a purple. The purple quest says south of the zone. Meet comrades. A well traveled map. And then suspect is the one I have right now. Let's talk to warlord. Oh, um, yeah. Do those warlord ones until you get to in hot pursuit. And then we'll we'll do that. So it says catch up with coxcomb. Yeah. I keep saying I think I missed a part of that one. Talk with warlord. Did that. Okay, I figured it out. Search Cox comes hut. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm a little ahead of you now. I like how we keep like getting ahead of each other. Yeah, the quests are kind of like <laughs> it's still like little baby quests. Like talk to yeah. this guy. I thought that you were in a different spot. Oh, good. What the fuck? Now this guy's over here. Okay. I'm talking to Warlord. There's a flesh hideout and a bandit camp. I'm going to go to the flesh hideout while you're doing that. Apprehend. That guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. After, actually, you know what? I'll just wait by the base. We'll, we'll do that after. Um, yeah, that's when you get... After that, you should get in hot pursuit. Okay, and then we have to just hand. go kill someone. That real quick. Okay, yeah, catch up with Oxcomb now. Is the one near on? Mm hmm. The map isn't showing me exactly where you are sometimes. There you are. Alright. Okay, so. Let's see. While we're while we're here, we can also search. We can do those messenger quests. Okay, uh, I see them. After this, oh, but also it's getting kind of late, and I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm only gonna play for like another twenty minutes. Right, but yeah. I, I wanted to get like a full feel of the scope of this game. Yeah, it's like the only actual game. Uh huh. <laughs> you just shoot him <laughs> by accident. They're just clicking through the dialogue. They don't care. <laughs> it's just a little, little shotgun blast. No, he'll be fine. Just, just gonna get a little exit wound. Uh, you must be looking for Coxcomb. Thank you for the information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an accident. <laughs> there he is. He's dead. Talk with Warlord. Well, that's fucking anticlimactic. Yeah, what the fuck? What do you want to do? You want to just explore? Or... Yeah, whatever. A little bit. Got some crazy monster. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see they're over around the ledge there. I think that might be the... 
Yeah. You know what that is? I'm pretty sure that's the boundary. Yeah. Sense. You know what? Let's go to fourth location. See that purple marker that says fourth location? You have that? Mm-hmm. All right, let's do that. There's a bandit camp beyond that, so we can do both of those. That'll be good enough, I think, for me. Yeah, I wonder how big this map actually is. I mean, it takes a while just to get across the swamps. So, yeah, it's probably pretty massive. I, I think someone in this chat said that this demo is actually the full game, but only for a week. Hmm. Interesting. What even is that? Like a town? Like a town of some kind. It's one of those things. Yeah, that, I, I don't know how much I love that. The idea of just randomly walking into an invisible damage. Yeah, pain. usually yeah. there's something to like warn you kind of. Or like dead bodies or something like that. Be like, oh, there's something fucked up here. Maybe there, maybe there's like some visual effect that we I just didn't see. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we could just like kill this guy. No, he's on our team. He's on our side. <laughs> he's just like it, his eyes look at your soul. Like, what do you fucking see these people? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's some electricity over here. So I think what you have to do is throw a thing at it. And then it generates yeah, a crystal, maybe? I can't even get over there. This is where the, the Minecrafty angle could be cool, because then you could, like... I'm in there, but I don't see anything. Alright, never mind. But it would be cool if I could chop oh. down these bushes so I could make a better jump. Yeah, being able to, like, interact with the terrain is the whole point of the Minecraft thing, I thought. That's what I thought, Maybe you too. can at a certain point. But also, I, I get that having a style like this cuts down on development time for a smaller company, like a smaller team. So Also, I gotta... Yeah, that's true. Like, the way we have, like, nostalgia for, like, games that look like they would be on, like, Super Nintendo, right? Like... There's got to be some nostalgia for people who just played Minecraft when they were kids, right? Yeah. So, like, maybe that's the same idea, kind of? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that there's a part of that and, like, Roblox. But, like, I mean, just apply that to a different thing, I guess. I don't know. But there have been so many games that do the block thing. Mm. Like, remember when yeah, Cube World? Was... Yeah. Wasn't that, like, Ace of, what Ace was of that? Spades? Like, Ace... Yeah, that was popular for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, that was pro that was a pretty big game. This is a like it was a cult game. famous cult game. <clears throat> but then it just um, kind of like died. Like it wasn't really like Yeah. You know, like, Jeff, do you know how to get out of here? <laughs> I had to like jump. Yeah, I think you have to like hold W. Yeah, there you go. Almost had it. There's some mechanic in this game where you jump and you hold like Q or W and you can like grab a ledge. Yeah, I'm trying that. I had it for a second and now it's it's not working. I might be able to get out this one. Alright, All right, I'm out. That was unnecessarily painful. Shooting this guy walking by, it's just like and with it. Oh, 
What the fuck? Weird. You can't like climb the ladder. Hold Q. Yeah. All right, so here's the fourth location. So I think that already... Yeah, just walking over here was enough. That you don't really have to do anything mm -hmm. else. I found um, some food and bullets. Oh, Jeff, take a look at this. There's a secret <laughs> under here. Just see the gag up front is funny. Do you see that down there? There's like a secret. Yeah, there's something in there. Thing. Whoa. I mean, even going prone, you can't get it. So that that seems a little bit weird. But all right, never mind. Dog den, flesh hideout, flesh hideout. Rodent nests. Isn't there a bandit camp, like, right over here? I don't see anything. Uh, I see some red thing happening. Oh, bandit camp over in the distance here. Um, yeah, let, let's, let's hit that. Yeah, it's raining. I found the uh, vodka. I found like a hole. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> they don't care at all. This is bad guys over here, though. At least I I thought there would be. I'm a dude over here. Unless well, maybe this guy killed everybody already. Possible. Ah oh, shit! I fell. In oh no. Yeah, I fell in the water. That's pretty much a death sentence, I think. There's a dead body over here. Yeah, we're about to be dead bodies, I think. <laughs> Great. Did you die too? Almost dying. Wow, I drank range. I drank the vodka as I was dying and I respawned drunk. <laughs> when you turn in that quest you receive a lot of money to buy like better weapons and stuff. So that's that's nice. I found a big helicopter. Ugh. Still drunk. Yeah, the game, all right. Oh, I just killed a dude. Killed a player. Nice. His name was his name was Sun. He was looking at a box, and I shot him in the Sun? back of the head. Yeah. S-O-N. Had to do it. Jeff, I'm still drunk. It, it just... doesn't stop. And there's a, like a bunch of PvP happening where I am for some reason. It's, it says you killed someone named Deathhawk. I'm gonna head over That's to you. Cool. cool name. I wish I picked that name. Fuck, did I just 
Oh god, it's the thing. Oh no, 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 stop, 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 no, 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 fuck you, game. The wind got you? <sighs> yeah, the invisible shit got me. Oh god, I'm lagging. Don't walk, stalker. You might touch invisible death. It seems like that's the only anomaly, too, other than... Like, the lightning. You can see the, the electricity, at least. I don't know what happens when you die. Do you drop money, or... Must drop something. <clears throat> I'm gonna try one more time and head over to you and uh, like I said I'm not planning on I, I didn't expect for those watching at whatever time this is uploaded in the future um, I wasn't even sure I was gonna be making a video of this so the fact that we ended up playing this for nearly an hour Oh, someone just stole my stuff. That's nice. You don't have I, anything now? Huh? You don't have any guns now? I didn't... My st my guns didn't drop, at least. The iron sight for the shotgun looks so weird. It's like super, super, super realistic. Do you have it? Yeah. It looks and like a, it looks like a Terminator. First, <laughs> like when you look at it, doesn't it look like it has two eyes. Uh, which shotgun? A, um, sawed the sawed off. off. A double barrel. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. I'm using it's like it looks like it's like, it's like worried. It's like a Terminator. It's about to like its face blown up. But yeah, the the game is cool. The concept is interesting. I like it. I am not into the invisible anomalies. That is the thing that kills it a little bit for me. Where are you, by the way? I'm at some, like, helicopter. I'm looking for um, you on the map. Uh, I'm trying to find... Like, north of oh, you. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. There's like a big helicopter over here. I think I see it. I see it, yeah. And you said there was PvP happening there? Yeah, there's a few people that ran up on me. Not since then, though. Yeah, I mean, I do want to shoot some stuff. So maybe we can... Head yeah, I don't know why they were marked as PvP or not. Yeah, they're just like wandering around over here and blew them up. Oh no, I'm stuck in the ground. It's gonna fucking kill me for speed. It's gonna kick me for speed hack. Okay. It did! <laughs> Connection <laughs> lost guys, speed hack. You guys sitting down now. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to try to log back in and see if it doesn't, if it doesn't put me back to the bunker, I want to go kill something in the game. I think and you, if it does, you're right here. The guy's still sitting yeah. there. 
Right there in front of me. All right, we'll see. Connecting to server. Oh, yeah, banned for speed hacking. Great. <laughs> Imagine someone developing hacks for this. You know what? Some asshole would. But this is like is a demo. Funny. There you are. Brawling. How do you stand up? <laughs> Z, I think. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, my God. Jesus. Game, please. <laughs> I'm going to head over to the dog den. Oh, dog. Oh, I don't have any bullets oh, for this. They're fucking everywhere. I just like runs. Hmm. Oh, that's what I lost when I died. I lost a fuckload of bullets and I lost a fuckload of shotgun shells. So yeah, you you just lose various items. You might lose money too. Yeah, probably all the ones that you have unpacked, I guess. Or someone can steal them if they want to. Yeah. Found some, like, shit. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, I was bandaging. Um, there's a rodent camp over there, too. Ro uh, sorry, rodent nest. Sure is rodents. Oh fuck! Yo, the guy I killed before just killed me. Oh, that's what that was. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I think I've had enough. <laughs> that it's was cool. Club, yeah, no, this is this is. I mean, again, we know where all the players went now. There must be like a certain distance you have to go before people can start like PvPing or whatever. That and also you have to find it, it's the two factions, I think. So uh, it's yeah. Bandit versus Stalker. And that's why it's like an MMO. I think there's a lot to like here, and I may end up playing this again. It comes out fall 2022, so it still has like you know another four or five months of work potentially. But I thought that was very ambitious, and and it's it's cool just jump, jumping into a game world like Stalker and being able to shoot people and do little quests and stuff. So yeah, it, best one yet for sure. But what was the other game? I, you know, I don't even. I'm good. I'm going to bed now. But um, <laughs> I think what was it? The Bigfoot one, a day out. No, the one that we almost played that I downloaded. Oh, scur something? What the fuck is that? Oh, don't be scurred. Right. Scur. That... They're yeah. running out of names for games now. Scur like... Ritual, which looks like a kind of a cosmic horror-ish. Um, good graphics. Stalker, not Stalker. Um, Killing Floor. Yeah, so. it does look like that. But, alright, well, this like was blood, fun. Bloodborne Killing Floor. 
Yeah, and it, I guess that's that's kind of cool. There's a chance I'll check it out in the future, but for now, I think this will be good. So uh, thank you, everyone out there, if you watched watch this and made it this far. God bless you. And uh, thanks, Jeff, for joining. This was fun. Hey, thanks for having me. Hopefully, you know, some people check out these games and, like, appreciate some of the hard work. Some of it was not hard work, but some of it was. And I have to say, it was fun. So, all right, goodbye, everybody. Also, check out Jeff's channel if you want to see more weird games. Uh, Vigibum on Twitch. Okay, goodbye. Later. I know this is primarily a multiplayer focused Steam Next Fest showcase, but in this case, uh, it's just me. And I found this game the next day, and it just seemed too wacky not to try. Yes, that is my, um... That is my deciding factor. How wacky a game is. Try this. <laughs> this fucking main character with his belt. But yeah, I saw some gameplay footage moment, and it, it just our looked fashionable city is under assault. It looked like I needed to try it. Baggy pants, dull suits. Is that squeezy jibs? Socks with sandals. Oh. A message needs to be sent. And it needs to be sent in style. Time to serve some good old fashioned justice. <sighs> like I said, it's wacky. <laughs> okay, mission one dull business. Thirty-six years of age, gray hair with all gray clothing. Listen up. Streets over here full of stressed out, bland gray activity of a corporate nature. You better get your sass over there ASAP. Oh my god. Okay. So as you can see, it is a retro FPS. <laughs> Made in Unity, by the way. Check this this controls and also I'm gonna increase the volume a little bit. So we get a slap. Okay, I can't use that stuff yet. Vertical free base advisors. <laughs> Are all your loans in order? It gives you their fashion crime. Oh my god. This reminds me a little bit of Chex Quest. Just in, like, the sense that it is not a violent gun shoot FPS. Listen, I'm a sucker for... The cosmic horror stuff. I love all these old retro FPS revival games that are like bloody and gory and extremely um, a throwback to Quake or Doom. I love it. But once in a while, it's nice to see something Initiated. totally off kilter. Thank you for your contribution. You're welcome. There's also, oh my god, there's also a game um, where it's a retro FPS in like Prohibition era, I think, uh, which I'll probably take a quick look at after this. So the music is too low. Character specific mumbles. Oh, I see. Just try to... better
Did you pick up a cocktail from the ground and drink it? A mocktail. It was refreshing. You must have a killer immune system. <laughs> this absolute nonsense that I am playing right now. I mean, it's fun. Another thick dull patch just around the corner. There's a thin red ribbon blocking my way to the crime scene. There's no way to go around it. Red scissors. Oh my god. Instead of a red key, it's red scissors. That's nightmare fuel right there. Huh? Is it just fashion crimes? Like, what? I don't understand <laughs> what, I'm, what is happening. Thank you for your contribution. Glowing red fire hydrant. You can use it to charge and amp up your firearm. Oh. Find another red hydrant. Seven powerful fab infused paintballs. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. It's it's a one-time only thing. It's a very, very simple video game so far. This is nice, though. I mean... Oh, saturate them out for me. They're waiting to ambush you at the boulevard. New operator who dis, he just said. I'm going to need better weapons. Thank you for your contribution. Okay. Suspect spotted neon bra. Too flashy. Oh, I have to extract the color. God. Mine got. I don't know what other kind of things to say about this game, other than it certainly is a game that exists. That's a crime I'll never commit. Oh yeah, it's just fashion crimes that's the secrets. Hmm. Are they going to scoot the burbs? Yeah. 
mean, it's it's kind of cool that there's a secondary fire for some enemies, and you got to use the primary. I mean, just from a gameplay perspective, it's it's kind of something a little unique. Way too many criminals up ahead. Slap some fashion sense. Press Q to activate the fab slap power. I'm sorry, did someone say Doom Eternal? Burger fling. So yeah, that's one level. It is a shorter series of levels than some of the other retro FPS games I've played recently, so that's that's nice. At least it seems that way so far. Oh lord. I gotta be honest, I kinda can't believe this exists. Uh... Oh, suits. Okay, I mean, you get the idea of the game. Probably gonna just do a little bit of this level. I'm always interested to see what kind of weapons are in an FPS game. Um... <laughs> But I would imagine the next weapon also shoots paint and maybe shoots fast. But again, yeah, there's there's some fun to be had here. It's it's a relatively simple game, which doesn't I mean it's a bad thing. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Ugh. If you're looking for something a little bit more traditional, check out Salako. Salako, however you say that. Something is off. I have to paint the gray billboards, I guess. Oh, yeah. This whole episode is just like first-person shooters, isn't it? Thinking about which videos, uh, which, which games I'm putting in here. Is that David Byrne? You, you may there. find yourself living in a big suit! Any room for growth? Any room for growth? It's an ill fit. Pull out the tailor-made. Oh, I see. Oh my god, I see now. I was wrong, it doesn't shoot color. Yeah, this, this feels like a game that will be included with a breakfast cereal. Maybe not the subject matter necessarily, but the, uh... The actual content of the game itself. Oh my lord. Belt of Justice. Oh my god. You can stun enemies with the belt. Oh, 
So yeah, I mean, you gotta switch between your weapons. In that sense, it's kind of like Doom 2016 and Eternal. Like, different... Different enemies have different weaknesses. However, these weapons are... ...very specifically designed... ...for, um... A, a ...specific enemies. So it's not like they're just ineffective, uh, or like... ...less powerful. They're just totally ineffective. I think that'll be it. A pepin. Smells Garbo and Co. Uh, worth checking out for a couple minutes. Definitely worth checking out. It was... It's called Fallen Aces. She was a cool drink of water. And that's when I knew I was on the jab. It's a New Blood game. I thought it was Devolver for some reason, but New Blood is almost kind of becoming like that level of publisher. And they had their own little presentation, so it seems like we're going to be getting a lot more of their stuff. And, um, I don't know, this like noir detective mafia prohibition FPS. I wasn't going to play it, but after that last game, I feel like this would make a good comparison. Let's take a look. Nothing hits you in the gut quite as hard as Nightwave's info drops. I'll probably it was a tall glass of water. Smokes once the night's up. Burn really being the optimal word. An agent working with Nightwave, Delia Price, was sent to dig up dirt on local arsonist Frank Matches Malone. <laughs> Frank Reynolds. From moth and flame, Malone's dive, a den for thugs and crooks, flashing its neon teeth to the seedy streets around it, like a welcoming grin to all the saps who come and piss away their hard-earned dough. Delia was undercover, moonlighting as a singer. Moonlighting as a singer. All right. Used it to get the insider's scoop on Malone's fire tricks. But not enough grace to keep Malone from catching wise and putting the little birdie in a cage. Won't be long before he makes her sing, either. Not unless I can set that birdie free. Is that Archer? Who knows? Maybe some justice can actually come from Delia's little black book. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes of Frankie Boy's flame and mess. Well, it gets the tone right, and the, the comic book style is nice. If I survive this... No Always. Man, I'm gonna dance a damn jig. Again, if you want to know why I do that, I used to have my sensitivity up. Because a lot of games have it as a default, where you just be like, spin! And then I decided I was playing Counter-Strike, and uh, I had heard that people were lowering their sensitivity real low for, like, accuracy. Welcome to Switch Blade City, Mike. And it really helped. So now I just play all FPS games like that. That's amazing. Tight asshole. Is that his eyeball? Oh no, it's an apple. <laughs> I gotta say, I like this. Um, it reminds me of 13, the game. 13? Not the remake. So you can throw goons. What a boss got me watching this stupid rooftop. In a dark I corner. Busting heads. I wish some poor sap would try and hit me. Just try. It. Amazing. Why wow, you can chuck them far? Okay, you can grab a banana peel? Huh. I was hoping you could slip on it. 
I like the trash texture. I'm a big fan of fishbone. Whether it be Looney Tune fishbone, or any other tune fishbone, cartoon, cartoon, whatever cartoon, I don't care. Fishbones is good. Underrated. Punch the fan. Yeah. <laughs> well, you move slower when you pick up heavier objects, which is, you know, appropriate. Lots of cover in the night should help keep you out of sight. Huh? And no, I didn't mean for that to run. I just heard something. Huh? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, you can pulp fools. Oh my god! Well, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, it looked neat, but it wasn't, you know... To me, it didn't look like anything to write home about. Just aside from the visuals, but... I mean, the gameplay has its own unique twist, too. I, I was... I don't know why I thought it... Didn't look well, quite let's good. not dally around too long. We got the other ones to take care of too. And keep an eye out for any nosy mugs out for a walk, see? Last thing we need is somebody walking in on Walk, us. see. And <laughs> stay down, asshole. These clowns are going down the whole damn neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah, the, the interactivity in the environment is always fun. It's always nice to have. Also, big fan of that Zeppelin in the distance there. That is very cool to look at. Oh, you can kick as well. Alright, how do I get rid of this? I want to get rid of it. H, I guess. Oh, even the pipe has a, like, a, a stamina. Not stamina, like, um, a durability. This place brings back hmm? memories. The banana peel worked! <laughs> Amazing, and it even makes a funny noise! Is fucking 
funny. Stay down, asshole. Holy shit, this game. I hear a wooga. I think F throws stuff. I am very surprised. There, there's a lot of depth to this gameplay. Well, I mean, so far it's just throwing shit, but... Something a little different. Again, this retro FPS revival. I love it because I love these games. But I can see how this would get old real fast. Stay down, asshole. I think I just killed that dude with a, an apple. Like a half eaten apple. Love boutique. Lingerie. lingerie <laughs> lingerie. Toys, stockings, heels, adult gifts, books, lotions, magazines, endurance tonics. Hey, you goons, follow me. Holy fuck. Uh, I am... I am surprised. <laughs> Some of the stuff I'm seeing here. Is this like a 40s strip club, perhaps? Guess we'll find out. I just want to see what the gunplay is like. Good job. A case of joint. Might be some clues lying around. I get in there. You're dead. Open this door now. Who is you? Here it comes! Stay down, asshole. Who is not so tough without that? How about coming in? Shit. Oh, I'll get him next time. Oh, you lose your items when you die. I guess that's a fair. What the hell was that? So that's fair. Oh, you just have to go pick him up again. So much for the stealthy approach. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, you gotta you gotta figure out the flow of combat in this game. You can't just like attack wildly.
note about Vinny. What? Hey, uh, have you seen Vinny lately? No one's seen him in two weeks. I want to check on him, on him. His apartment across the street, but the door was locked. Maybe he skipped town. Maybe Vinny skipped town. <laughs> Usually there's a gun under the bar. Nothing. Smokes. Moonlight smokes. Drink them. That's right. Drink them. Huh? Oh, I just heard hey, something. Good news. Looks like I found that book. You alright in there? No, we just gotta find two. It's too late. Any help? Open this door. No. I can't, it's locked. Oh. Was this dude sh Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Open this door. No. Open this door. No. I saw one frame of that dude shitting in the middle of the stall. I guess you can just throw espresso machines at people. Hmm? It's better with the music, isn't it? brown liquid in there. I discover a secret. Oh no, this is just back out this way. So the levels aren't cordoned off by, by as far as I can see so far. Uh, they're not cordoned off by loading zones. Looks like there's multiple ways to approach some of these situations, too. I could have gone in through this way. Nice. Goes outside. Moon's office is somewhere on that floor. Be careful. Can is Stay down, asshole. Wow. Who Jesus. So powerful. It's nice to have a pistol in a video game that's like super powerful. I must have had another stroke again, I guess. <laughs> I must have had another stroke again, I guess. Just gonna ignore that then. Huh? What the hell was that? I just heard something. Get it back. You just you killed him. You? Get the hell out of here! Hey, put that thing down. <laughs> oh, oh, no. so tough. No. Get no way. No. Oh. Dude had a name. Oh, shit. 
tough now, are you? Matches Maloney was called. That's the stuff. Let's get him. Huh? Tough now, are you? God, this this reminds me of the movie Johnny Dangerously. It's a Michael Keaton movie from the '80s. That's like a parody oh. mob movie. Very, very dumb. Watched it again recently. Some of it is kind of funny still. Like that, huh? oh, shit. Miss Price? Mm. Uh, uh, took you long enough, new guy. Nightwave sent you. Ugh, lazy prick. Making you and me do all his dirty work. I know you can hear me through that calm night dick. Tell ya, I'm sorry, but... Oh, just save it. It's not as bad as it looks. Been through worse. But whatever they injected me with is burning a hole through my brain. Don't happen to have any smokes on ya, would ya, hun? Uh, yeah. Here. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> well, looks like you already found my little book. Look at you on top of things. <laughs> uh, you should have seen the look on their faces when they blew my cover. I don't think they expected me to plug the three of them and break the other bastard's arm. Bad news, Mike. Malone's and Goon's got one of your presents. Just want me to place now, so we can crack some skulls and tiptoe your way out. Whatever you do, just get the hell out of there. I'm ready to blow this joint when you are. I... Just... I... Give me a minute. I just... I just need to... Shit. All right, Miss Price, you're coming with me. This was really good. Yeah, I think, um, I like the approach where, you know, the melee hits are important, finding objects are important, the fucking pistols are really powerful, but also very limited. I think this game definitely se sets itself apart and is pretty unique in a, uh, a world of so many retro FPS games. I think it's great. There is definitely a chance I would play the full version. And the presentation and storytelling is kind of fun, too. So, yeah, uh, Fallen Aces. Damn, what a surprise. I think that will be it. So let me just do my outro and say, um, I think this is it, because tomorrow Next Fest ends, and I've played a ton of demos. It's always a fun time of year, and I enjoyed making these uh, compilation videos, especially because there's so many games now on my radar. And uh, I hope that you found some games that you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed watching and hearing my commentary, however light that it may have been. It was it was fun. Goodbye for now, and until next year's next fest. Stay crusty, my friends. <laughs>